Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a good one. Crystal Clear Ideas and myself, we are doing a planner babe tag. So after my video, when you watch my video, make sure you go on over to Crystal Clear Ideas video. Twelve questions, and it's a wild card question as well. And it's super fun. We just thought we'll come up with just some questions that we just want to know. And we want to tag some of our favorite planner babes because we want to interact with them and kind of see what their planning style is. So I'm going to go off and start with the first question. The first que question is, what bag do you carry your planner in? Now, I carry my, my planner inside of my black, it's a uh, um, Kenneth Cole, I'm sorry, Kenneth Cole bag. And it's a duffel bag, which I don't have it right now. I know. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now to show you, but it's black and leather. And it fits this planner right here. This is a classic size happy planner. And it is a transformer style. So I have about five planners in one. And it carries it. And I still have room to put other things in it. So I do love that bag. Black Kenneth Cole. It has a pocket for my cell phone and everything. So I can just put it on my bag, on my back and, and just go. Okay, so second question is, how many planners do you actually use at one time? So like I said, I have the Transformer style. So if you hadn't checked out my video of my 2019 lineup, please make sure you go check that out. Um, I have about five planners in here and I do use them all at one time because they're all here in one um, planner and I'm able to just flip over to whatever I need. And so I'm loving it. Number three, what is your planning routine? Well, my ideal planning routine would be to sit in my craft room, light some candles, play some soft music, and just have like a nice bowl of hot tamale candy with it. But because I have three kids, I can't do that. So my planning routine is to get my kids settled down, get me, uh, I turn on um, my Alexa, she plays my station that I love, and I just turn her to turn on to my favorite station and I do have one candle that I do light every now and then and I already pretty much pre-planned before and so I just do that and I just start my planning that's that's pretty much it. and I normally try to plan like on Sunday Monday depending if my Sunday is too busy then I can do it like Monday morning once I get the kids settled from breakfast and such so that's pretty much my routine number four what snacks do you eat during planning well, I do like to eat certain things and they are a little messy, but when I'm really needing to concentrate, I really get um, a box of hot tamales. Like, I really love that. It's like this red cinnamon, cinnamon like flavored candy. I just throw about two of them in my mouth at one time. Get to planning. It puts me in the zone. So, hot tamales. I, and, it, and it doesn't mess up my sheets when I'm planning. It's just candy. So... That's what I normally that's what I normally eat during planning. Number five, when did you start planning or got introduced to the planning community? Um, I started planning about 2016, about two years now, I believe, about two years. And once I got into planning, I didn't know that there was a such thing as like Facebook groups and such. And so once I got into planning and reaching out on Facebook, I started getting into other groups. And then that's how I just kind of trickled down to Facebook groups and then meetups and then YouTube. So that's how I pretty much got introduced into the planning community. Number six, life before planning, productive or not? No, to tell you the truth, you think you're being productive when you're playing because you're just kind of going with the flow, you're just winging it. Mm -mm. I think I'm more, I, I was not productive at all. But now that I'm planning, I can see throughout my day what I've done and accomplished. That makes me more, or it makes me feel more productive because I can see what I'm actually um, getting done versus just saying, did I remember to put oil in the car or, you know. Number seven, what is your layout preference? Well, my preference, I would say vertical because I started with vertical. I'm leaning more now into horizontal because I do want to try other things just 
just to try to feel it out to see if I can get away from vertical. But I did like vertical when I was trying it. Right now, I am doing the dashboard layout. Um, give me a minute because I'm still working on trying to figure it out. You know, trying to get my hands on it. But I'm, I'm missing the vertical, to tell you the truth. I'm missing the vertical. But I think the dashboard is making me a little bit more creative, trying to find different ways to set it up. So, I would say the dashboard. I'm going to just go, I'm going to just, we're going to say dashboard for now. Just because I'm using it. All right. So, the next question is number eight. Do you prefer, do you prefer sticker kits or create my own spread? Now, to tell you the truth, I started off with sticker kits. Sticker kits was my thing. And it, it's, it, it's nothing wrong with the sticker kits. It does it does make you a little lazy, but then it doesn't help you with your creative style. If you want to be more creative and find different things, I would say do certain printables, get a sticker book, and that way you can kind of figure out how you want to lay everything down yourself. To say, oh, well, let me try overlaying this sticker on top of this sticker. So I think it gives you more flexibility. So I would say to create my own spread. And that's what the dashboard layout is really like. It's testing me. But it's making me more creative. So I do like that. Number nine. Do you prefer spiral, disc, or journal style? Now I've actually tried all three. Yeah. I've tried the Recollection Spiral. I've tried the Happy Planner Disc. And I did a little, I dabbled in a little TN journaling. This is not my thing. I can't doodle. Nothing like that. But they got the new sticker book. The journal and one, yes, they do. So if you hadn't seen my video yet, check out my video where I show you the new sticker kit, the new sticker book of the journaling doodles and the journaling. That is bomb. Like, I want to start back journaling now because, just because of those sticker books. So please check that out. So I would say I would prefer disc because it's customizable. I'm, I'm able to remove my paper, put it back in. Add things as I need to. I can hole punch with my Happy Planner punch. So right now, I would say my disc. Metal disc, to be exact. Not the plastic. Metal. Number 10. Favorite planner supply. I would say my favorite planner supply would be... Washi tape. For right now. And the reason why I say that is let me show you my washi stash this is my travel this is my travel washi tape so don't judge me so i don't know if you can see i have a white out here i have double-sided tape here i have a clear tape here and then i have somewhere in here okay that's a recollections double-sided uh tape gun and then i have nothing but washies in here so I have a little bit of everything, but this is like my travel case of all my favorite washies. Just because I don't want to leave them home, so I bring them. Well, this is really not all. I, mean, I shouldn't tell you that. But it, it's not all. That, that's just a few of my washi tapes. But those are the ones that I know that I pretty much like to look at and I go to. Um, so I would say my washi tape. Number 11. Favorite thing to plan. Meal, cleaning, budget, or faith. I would say I'm doing more of faith planning and I'm doing more of like my daily texts and my um, personal study and um, my midweek meetings in this planner as well. And it's in here. I don't plan with it because I just feel that that's a little intimate and personal. So I just I keep that separate from my plan with me's. Um, but that that's first and foremost. So I just want to put that out there. But other than that, I would say, um, I would say cleaning. I'm trying to get more into doing um, clean with me's um, videos on this channel for 2019. So I'm trying to do more of that. And because I'm always cleaning anyway with my kids, why not incorporate that in a video? So I'm I would say cleaning is going to be my next um, favorite thing to plan. Number 12, any funny planner stories? I don't even know if I want to share it. So, okay, I'm going to share it because I'm going to be real with y'all. So, just recently, <clears throat> I called myself trying to 
go ahead and do a printable. I was printing printable of this sticker. I can't remember the sticker, the Etsy shop that I got it from. But I was printing the sticker kit. I had on the paper. I was like, yes. So I was trying to run through my um, Cricut Maker machine to cut it. And it just, it just wasn't working. So I was like, okay, I'm just have to fussy cut it. I don't really want to fussy cut it. But I was like, the stickers was cute. I wanted to do it. So I'm just cutting away. And I'm just putting everything down. And... I started noticing the stickers was missing. Like, what happened to the stickers? So I'm just like, well, you know, I'm gonna still go ahead. I'm gonna plan. I'm gonna just figure it out as I go. I'm gonna find it. So at the time, I was in my little nice, cozy, um, pink robe that I always like to just plan in because it just relaxes me. So I proceed to, as I'm planning, I couldn't find it. So I'm like, well, I don't know what, what I do with the stickers. I don't know what happened to it. So apparently as I was taking the sticker paper off the back to just kind of lay it down and everything, I had it on the side of my desk. And I was just like, well, I'll just pull it and play it as I, as I go. Couldn't find it. So I just go down. I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm over it. I'm not even going to try to, I'll figure it out and find it tomorrow. So I proceed to go downstairs and I'm walking past my husband and my kids, everybody's getting ready for bed. And my husband looks at me. He's just smiling. I'm like, Hey, boo, what's, what's wrong? <laughs> he's like, you okay? I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's like, take your robe off. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to take it off. Like, why do you want me to take my robe off? I don't, I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm ready for bed. Y'all, my stickers. My sticker was stuck on my arm, stuck on my back, stuck on the back side. I don't even know how they got there. I don't even know. I don't even know how they got on the back of my shirt, or the back of my robe, or at the at the back behind me on my my robe. It was just that's my that's my funny planner moment. I lost stickers and then they ended up on me and I didn't know and yeah. So I would say that was my, my most recent planner funny story. Don't tell nobody that though, cause I'm gonna look for y'all. Okay, so this is the wild card question. Favorite planner tool and planner goal. So I would say my planner, my favorite planner tool would have to be my tweezers. Wait. Because I do love me some double-sided tape. That's a toss-up. I don't know. I would say my tweezers because they do come in handy because sometimes the nails don't work. So I would say my tweezers um, would be my, my favorite planner tool. Now my planner goal is to be more productive because I feel that I'm productive now, but I could be more productive, especially just with my time. So I'm trying to get more into um, hourly, planning out my day with my half sheets if I need to, to get my day started. Um, what I did learn too from another planner babe, which is uh, Megan's plan, um, she also did a, a video where she just kind of took a half note and then she just kind of wrote down, um, getting up maybe 30 minutes before the kids get up either if it's, you know, getting yourself together, getting dressed, eating, whatever. So I would say just getting more productive and using my time wisely. Um, and the fun part comes. I get to tag my planner babes. So my planner babes that I'm going to tag, and you have to go check out Crystal Clear Ideas to see who she tags. So my first up would be E. Michelle. I'm tagging you. Yes, I'm tagging you. I'll tag E. Michelle because she's just really dope. Like, I love her. Especially when at the end of her video, she's like, oh, KK, bye. Now, I might be doing it wrong. Don't tell I did that. But I love that. Like, I love her energy. I love her vibe when she plan when she does her planning and her budget. I love it. So, E. Michelle, you have been tagged by Southern Tea Time. The next person I'm going to tag is going to be her lovely plan. Her lovely plan, she is just so inspiring. Um, she inspires me to just think outside the box most of the time. I'm loving, y'all have to go and check her channel out. I love her plan with me. The way she used these stickers blows my mind. Check her out. So her lovely plans, Miss Shakisha Sims, you've been tagged. So next person is going to be my girl, Megan Plans. Yes. She knows how I feel about her. <laughs> so, Megan, I am tagging you, boo. So, come through and get on this, pla this um, Planner Babe tag. 
The next person I am going to tag is Jane's Diary. Yes, Miss Mimi, I'm tagging you. Yep. So, Jane's Diary, she is like cool. She like one of my, she, she made me feel like she one of my cousins. So, of course I had to play her. So, I mean tag her. So, of course, Jane's Diary, you've been tagged. And last but not least, I cannot forget At Home with Keita. Did, did y'all hear me? At home with Kita. Now, I'm hoping At Home with Kita is gonna play along. She is just like bomb. Her creativity pew, over there. Like, you like, yeah, I never thought about. It. She is doing her thing. She is like inspiring so many of us in the planet community. And so I just thought it would be right just to go ahead and tag her. Everybody that I tag, please make sure you join in. And also, if you want to be tagged and I didn't put you or I didn't name you, go ahead and comment down below in the comment section. Let me know you want to play along with us because we don't care. So I'll, I'll put you in on the tag and put you in the description box and make sure I tag you in it so you can play along with us. And let's just see how long we can keep this tag going and see if we can keep it going for 2019. So until next time, you guys. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you go check out Crystal Clear Ideas video so you can see what, she, what her answers are to the, que the same questions. And we're going to also put the questions in the description box. So every time that you tag someone and if you're playing along, please make sure you're copying that question to your description box to keep it going. So until next time, you guys, peace.